guys, welcome to Story Break. Today we are going to read a book called This Book is Gray by Lindsay Ward. And I thought that this would be a good match for this day because it's kind of gray outside. So here we go. I'm going to make the grayest book ever, said Gray. Once upon a time, a wolf, a kitten, and a hippo lived in a small house by the sea. Some would describe the house as dismal, bleak, or gloomy, but it wasn't. It was lovely and gray and perfect. Hey, Gray, what you doing? said Blue. This looks dismal, bleak, and gloomy, said Red. Yeah, this is kind of depressing, said Yellow. I'm telling a story, said Gray. It's just a little overcast. Perfect weather, if you ask me. Dude, where's all the color? Blue asked. Well, this book is gray, and gray is a color. But you can't illustrate a good story without the primary colors, said Red. Yeah, the three of us are, like, really important. Everyone loves us, exclaimed Yellow. The wolf, the kitten, and the hippo. Red interrupted. Is the wolf going to eat the kitten? Because I feel like that's where this is going. <sighs> of course not. Just because this book is gray doesn't mean it's scary or sad, explained Gray. So, like, what are these animals going to eat if they don't have a proper sun? It certainly won't be organic, said Yellow. I'm guessing the kitten, said Red. Do you mind? I'm trying to tell my story here, said Gray. Hey, what's everyone arguing about, asked Orange. Hey, secondaries, we're discussing Gray's monochromatic disaster, said Red. It's about, like, a totally cute kitten who gets eaten by a wolf, explained Yellow. Okay, but what's with the hippo, asked Green. Yeah, dude, we're not sure how he fits in either, said Blue. Oh, a kitten, said Purple. Is anyone listening listening to me? I said no primaries and no secondaries. This book is gray. Can I please get back to my story? What muted his you? asked Orange. One day, the wolf decided to host a brunch. Dude, a brunch? Really? That's so last year, said Blue. I knew that kitten was a goner, said Red. Yep, totally saw that coming, said Yellow. Oh, for Pete's sake, the kitten isn't going to get eaten, said Gray. Who's Pete? I think Pete's the hippo, said Yellow. Personally, I didn't think this book could really use a splash of orange. Orange is a totally rad color. Thanks, Blue, so are you. I know you can't help it, but please stop complimenting each other. It's distracting, and I'm about to get to the... Hey, guys, what's going on? asked White. Gray decided to make his own book out of the blue. Yeah, and we're totally blacklisted. No primaries, no secondaries, no color at all, said Red. Just because I'm not a primary or secondary doesn't mean I'm not a color. Achromatics have feelings too, you know. Well, White and I are achromatic, just like you. So, can we be in your book? asked Black. Sorry, guys, this book is gray, but maybe... White, what are you doing? The wolf was just about to pull the scones out of the oven when... White out! No, no, no! This book is gray like me! Why is that so hard to understand? You guys get to be in everything. I'm left out all the time. I don't even get to be in the rainbow. I just wanted to show you what I can do. Gray is a cool color too, you know? Sigh. I just get tired of being the one no one wants to color with. Everyone thinks I'm dull, but I can be bold. I can be interesting, too. Sorry, Gray. I got a little carried away there. Yeah, man, we're sorry. Sometimes we can be a little off color. How am I going to get rid of all this snow? This book is supposed to be gray, but now it's ruined. No worries, Gray. We can, like, totally help you fix this. That is, if you want us to said Yellow. Even though the wolf's scones burned due to an unexpected weather delay, all the guests had a lovely time together in the garden. It was a great party. Ta-da! Isn't it, like, totally awesome? And look, we got brown and pink to help us. Dude, gray is such a cool color. I don't know how we never noticed before, said Blue. Look at all these gray animals, said Red. Wow, this book is gray and colorful. I love it. So, what do you want to do now? Color?
totally me too. Yeah, dude, come on. Hello, Gray. You forgot to end the story. I'm getting hungry. Me too. Turns out the kitten could whip up a mean brunch. Oh, and they lived grayly ever after. The end. So, what do you guys think? Awesome story, Gray. Easily like my new favorite. Let's read it again. And all the colors lived happily ever after. The end. Thanks for listening, guys. And don't forget, Zoom story time this Friday at 1 o'clock. Email Rita at SouthRiverLibrary.org for Zoom login info. See you then. Bye.